Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. Today's episode is a pre-fight episode for UFC on Fox 7. Ben Henderson versus Gilbert Melendez. Yeah, today's episode we're going to talk about the main card. Today's main, or, or Saturday's main card. This Saturday's main card is going to look really good. We got Frank Muir versus Daniel Cormier. We got Matt Brown versus Jordan Meehan. We got Nate Diaz versus Josh Thompson. And for the UFC lightweight championship of the world, we got Ben Smooth Henderson versus Gilbert El Nino Melendez. So let's get started with the title match, the UFC lightweight title match. Ben Henderson versus Gilbert Melendez. Gilbert Melendez, strike force, lightweight champion, multiple title defenses, great champion, has beat Josh Thompson multiple times, has beat Jorge Masvidal, he's beat some big names in the sport, Ben Smooth Henderson, the current UFC lightweight champion. He's real good. He's defeated Frank Edgar twice. He has defeated Nate Diaz. He's defeated a lot of guys. Donald Cerrone. Yeah, I expect this lightweight title match to go the distance. I expect to go five five-minute rounds with Ben Henderson just barely squeaking out the decision win. I expect it probably unanimous decision win. Like, maybe a close, close 50-45, around there, yeah, about 50-45, ben, ben Henderson, maybe 49-46, somewhere in that vein. Should be, yeah, I, I think Gilbert Melendez could win a round or two with his grappling skills and his speed, but I think Ben Henderson's wrestling is going to, Coming of a factor and save the day for Ben Smooth Henderson. He's a great champ. He finds ways to get out of submissions. I'm sure Jake Shields, who Gilbert Melendez trains with, is showing Gilbert some good submissions. And it's just hard to submit Ben Henderson. In the co main event, we got Frank Muir versus Daniel Cormier, which is a heavyweight bout. Frank Muir, former UFC heavyweight champion, Daniel Cormier. Strike Force Tournament Heavyweight Champion. This, I'm actually, for the like first time ever, rooting for Frank Mir. I can't believe I'm saying that. Yep, hell has frozen over as far as I'm concerned. I'm rooting for Frank Mir here. Frank Mir, please get like a first round submission. I doubt you can do it. I would imagine you're a severe underdog in this fight. Daniel Cormier, Olympic wrestling credentials. 11-0, beat Josh Barnett in strike force. he's a beast, heavy hands, I think if Daniel Cormier wins by knockout, I don't picture this fight going to a decision, good luck Frank Mir, you'll need it, really, you'll need it, I mean, beyond your belief need it, <sighs> oh, I just can't believe I'm saying that, I, I just can't believe I'm rooting for Frank Mir. Okay, then in, in the lightweight matchup on the main card, another lightweight match on the main card, we've got Nate Diaz, Josh Thompson. Both these guys have fought the people in the, the main event, which is the title match. Josh Thompson has had a trilogy with Gilbert Melendez, lost two of them. Nate Diaz last fought Ben Henderson, lost a decision. It's going to be interesting to see how this fight plays out because I don't know how good Josh Thompson's submission defense is because I would imagine Nate Diaz is going to try to get a submission. Nate Diaz has great submission skills. He knows how to transition well. And him and his brother just trade secrets, him and his brother Nick. I, with this fight, I'm, I, I guess I would say Nate Diaz would win by submission. But Josh Thompson, if he wins, it's going to be by decision. Then the fight that kicks off the main card is a welterweight bout with Matt Brown and Jordan Meehan. This is going to be a good fight. Matt Brown has been on a four-fight win streak. He was on the verge of getting cut by the UFC a long time ago. 
and then he had a win against John Howard, which saved his UFC career, and then next thing you know, he, shortly after that, ends up on a 4-5 or five win streak, and now everyone's talking about Matt Brown. Matt Brown, wow, talk about heart, not only in his fight life, but his personal life, overcoming all the obstacles, with the drugs. I'm proud of you, Matt. Good luck. I like Jordan Meehan, too, though. Jordan Meehan, I followed his career in Strike Force. He's fought... Yeah, he last fought Dan Miller, won by TKO in round one. That was a good fight. I remember watching that one. And then he has lost to Mike Ricci and Rory McDonald. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, Mike Ricci was a runner-up in Season 16 of The Ultimate Fighter. And Rory McDonald, everyone knows who he is. Rory McDonald will be fighting for the UFC welterweight champ before we know it. Just by the blink of an eye. So yeah, this, this, main, this main card, in my opinion, I always say this, I know, I know. But it's pay-per-view caliber. Dana White, I, I, I don't know if you're going to be sending all of us the pay-per-view bill. Is this like a, a late April Fool's joke? I mean, are we going to turn into uh, Fox and then next thing you know, next month on our cable bill is the pay-per-view bill on there and we're like, what? And then it says UFC on Fox 7. Yeah, I'm excited about this this fight card. Yeah, Dan Cormier has not fought steep competition with the exception of maybe Josh Barnett as Frank Mir is. I mean, Frank Mir is tough competition. This is going to be a good fight. And, oh, yeah, before I forget, here's me and Ben Henderson. So, the next Nate's MMA episode, Nate's MMA Corner episode, will be a post-fight for this. So stay tuned, and we'll see what happens. Until then, see you.